Hello everyone, today I want to show you the coordinate system part 1 about geodetic data. So what will be in this video, we'll see what is a geodetic data <coughs> WGS84 and where we see it in Cesium. So first when you program to Cesium you need to know which data type is our globe. So when you look on the globe it looks like the globe is a ball, but it's not exactly. Our world more looks like this yellow shape. So what is this yellow shape? This yellow shape is called geoid, the hypothetical shape of the Earth coinciding with the mean sea level and its image extension under over land area. So okay, it's from Google Translate. Again, this is a geoid. So what next? We take an ellipsoid and fit the geoid, and the result is World Geodetic Systems 1984 or simply WGS84 data. Okay, so we understand the WGS84 data, it means first the coordinate system, second it's our globe data type or structure. Okay, this picture is how it will look like when you take an ellipse to fit the geoid. But the problem is for people who are living here, that it's not, the ellipse not fit them uh, correctly. So they may create a local data, I don't know it's the best idea because there is a, a standard of a global data. So where we see it in Cesium, in the viewer property we have a property called the globe, which means a globe to use in the scene is set to false, no globe will be added. And then the globe class, you have it has a property called ellipsoid, and the default is ellipsoid WGS84. So now we understand from where the WGS84s come from. And the last credits and the recommendation I recommend to see uh, these videos. I will put the links to them in the comments. And uh, the end.